So, so we are, we're going to continue talking about dummy variables in the context of multiple linear regression model. And notice that both in, in, in the uh, theoretical part and also in the, apply, in the application and the example that we uh, considered previously, we only talk about the one qualitative variable representing uh, two categories. However, you know, it's possible to have a qualitative variable with more than two categories. So today, let's talk about that, that case. So let's talk about the case of um, qualitative variables. Qualitative variables. with um, three or more categories. Okay. So, for example, you know, uh, we might be interested in what's the effect of the academic classification on GPA. So, for academic classification, so our explanatory variable would be academic classification. So remember that here we will have freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. So you know the qualitative variable is academic classification, and we have you know four categories. Okay. So before we talk about this, so let's let's step back a little bit. So remember that when we were talking about a qualitative variable with two categories, we said that we could create two variables. So we said that for a qualitative qualitative variable, so for a qualitative variable. with two categories, we could create two variables. That was the, the idea, you know, one for each category. So in our previous example, remember we had gender. And we say that for gender, we can create the variable female, the dummy female, or the dummy male. So female equal to zero if male, and female equal to one if female. And the other one was male, which is equal to zero if female, and equal to one to male. And remember, we even kind of consider, I mean, how is that this will look in the context of Excel. So here, you know, we can have the word male, female, male, female. And so here in terms of, uh, you know, transforming the information. So we have one, zero, one, zero. And if female is the dummy variable, we have zero, one, zero one okay so remember that's what we have and then we said okay so this is what happens we when we have a qualitative variable with two categories and then we said that for regression analysis we only include one of the variables and the one excluded was the base category so we said that for regression analysis We include one of the variables, and the variable that we excluded, the variable we excluded, is the base category. So that's kind of what we did previously. So 
<clears throat> now let's consider a variable with um, three categories. So let's consider a variable with three categories. see what what happens and the variable the qualitative variable let's say that is the measure of students in this class which is AAC 4302 and the type of students that we tend to have our students are measuring in economics um, agricultural economics and sometimes we have students measuring in uh, mathematics okay so you know again if we think in terms of how this will look if we had kind of like an excel file So we have measure, um, we have three columns, a geekon, econ, math, so here we can have a geekon, a geekon, econ, let's say a geekon, math, a geekon. So if we were to construct the dummy variable for Agicon, we would have one, one, zero, one, zero, one. If it was for Econ, it would be zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. And for math, we would have zero, 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 one, zero. Okay, so as you can see, basically what we're doing here, you know, to, to construct these, these variables. Um, as you can see here, so you know, if we have a qualitative variable with three categories, then that means that we can construct a dummy variable for each of the categories. Okay, so that's kind of what's going on, as we can show you here. So in this case, then we can construct. Domain variable for each category. And again, as a generalization of the previous case, if we were to do regression analysis, we should only include two of the categories. For multiple linear regression, include only two of the categories. So that's what we should do. And then the category, the excluded category is going to be the base category. Excluded category is the base category. Okay, so let's use example. Let's say that we run a regression. And the result is great at 80 plus 5. A econ plus three econ. So the variable not included, of course, is going to be math. That's the base category. The base category is going to be math measures. Okay. So now let's interpret the coefficients. So beta not hat, which is equal to 80, so that remember that's the intercept, that's the average value of y for the base category. So that's the average 
value of y for the base category that's kind of what we learned previously in this specific case that means that the average grade for math measures is 80 points so the average grade for math measures is 80 points Okay, so remember, if both Agicon and Nikons are equal to zero, that basically means that we have math, and that's kind of what gives us um, the uh, average grade for math measures, which is kind of the intercept. Now let's look at the coefficient 5, which is for Agicon. Remember here the way to think about it, we always interpret these coefficients relative to the base category. So here we say that relative to math measures, the average grade for Agicon students. is five points higher. Okay, and then the next one, which is beta two coefficient, which we say three, and that's econ. So we could say the relative to mild measures. I should add it here. So the average grade for econ students is three points higher. For econ students. is three points higher. Okay, so again, this is a generalization of the previous example. You know, we basically did the same thing and the interpretations is kind of the same intuition. So to summarize, you know, these ideas, because actually these same ideas can be used for the case where you have more than three categories. So to summarize, if you have a qualitative variable, a qualitative variable with R categories in a regression model, in a multiple linear regression model. So these are the ideas. So the first thing is that you only include R minus one dummies in the regression model. So you only include R minus one dummies in the model. So remember, when we have gender, male and female, you only included one. Here we have three categories. We have three measures, and we only, include, uh, we only included two of them. The other kind of big lesson is the intercept is going to be interpreted as the average value of your dependent variable for the base category. So the intercept is interpreted as the average value of your dependent variable
for the race category. Okay, so that's kind of like the other big idea. And finally, that the coefficients related to the dummy variables are interpreted as the differences in the average value of the dependent variable relative to the base category, which again is the third kind of you know large lesson from these two examples. So the coefficients related to dummy variables. are interpreted as differences in average values of the dependent variable relative to the base category, which is that's the way that we've interpreting those coefficients relative to the base category. Okay, so again, this is a, you know, the procedure that we use to uh, construct the dummy variables and then for interpretations, it's basically, you know, it's a generalization of the case where you have two variables. Kind of use, for, you use kind of the same rules when you have three, four, or five categories for a qualitative variable, um, you know, or for a variable denoting qualitative information.